an introductory tour of the School Experience Collection at Plymouth University Library. The collection is for students who are going on placement into primary or secondary schools. You can borrow up to 40 items for a whole term. There are various sections to the collection. You can find fiction and short stories arranged alphabetically according to the author's surname. All the items in the collection start with the letter J. JS is used for short story collections. There are also a number of picture story books. Look for JP on the label. The non-fiction section uses a simplified version of the Dewey classification system, for example J610. Books on topics and project packs full of classroom resources can be found here. Many of the non-fiction books and project packs are too large to fit on the shelves so don't forget to look in the oversized section, J-O-S. Some of the picture books are also oversized and can be found in the rack shown here. We will now look at the teaching materials available for a topic. We have chosen rivers. In the non-fiction section there are a number of books suitable for the different key stages. Choose the appropriate level by looking at the number of images, text size, vocabulary or glossaries. Two examples are shown here. This book would be more suitable for older children. There are also a number of highly visual books with pop-ups and movable parts such as this one on oceans. If you wanted a story about rivers, you can search the catalogue, including fiction as a keyword. Here is an example of something that you would find. There are also poems on various themes. Here is one about water, which would fit with the topic of rivers. Look for J821 to find the poetry anthologies. The project packs cover themes and topics too. Here is a P-set pack which includes a resource book, photo cards and posters on the theme of rivers. Another type of project pack is called Junior Focus. The magazine includes wall charts, photo cards and ideas for lessons. In the main stock of the library are a number of teaching packs to help you with lesson planning. They often include photocopyable worksheets and cover the different key stages. Here is an example of a resources pack for key stage one. Some of the packs contain glove puppets which can be used in a variety of ways in the classroom. The collection includes plays which you can use in class. Look at J822 for the drama section. This is the Rainforest Theatre Pack, which includes packs of scenery, figures and animals fit to use in creating a play, all in one hand handy pack with instructions and ideas for use in the classroom. Do explore this collection and remember to use the items when you are on placement. You will be supporting the school with extra resources.